Cecil the Lion has exposed more than just an idiot dentist part 2. With hundreds of millions of dollars coming into African nations through hunting. And much of the bedrock of modern conservation in Africa being built on a theory of sustainable hunting. It's an uphill battle to get African countries on board to stop all hunting. Hunting has reduced a great deal in the last two decades with greater public protests and tourism also becoming major money spinners. But with species numbers also dropping. It is still a significant concern. There are community-owned hunting concessions in Africa that have worked well. As communities make money off the hunting of the animals. They help protect the habitat for the animal and stop all illegal hunting. The laws of the legal hunts are strict. With only older non-breeding animals being declared fair game. In response to the reduction of legal hunts has emerged the reviling practice of canned hunting. Where lions and other big cats are bred in captivity. Hand raised by humans and then once grown to the size of a trophy. Offered up to hunters. These animals don't run. Could be drugged. Are fenced in with nowhere to go. And are basically sitting ducks. South Africa can proudly claim to be the capital of canned hunting. Owners of canned hunting farms will say they are doing a service as they are anti the trophy hunting of animals in the wild. And because they are providing a service that aids conservation as their animals are captive bred. If Cecil was a shocker. Imagine a lioness. A mother. Shot by a hunter against a fence. From where she did not run because her cubs were on the other side. Imagine her dead with blood and milk flowing out of her body while her cubs look on. No. I am not making this up. This is a video I have seen and used in my documentaries on canned hunting. The word game in reference to animals that are hunted, some say, is derived from the Greek word gamos, which symbolizes a marriage, a union between gods. Here, it symbolizes a union between the hunter and the hunted. When we humans lived as hunter-gatherers, hunting, while a survival tool, was a spiritual expression with the deep understanding of the entwined connections between all living things in the web of life. Even in that time, we knew better than to kill apex predators like lions unless it was in self-defense. In fact, in southern Africa, there are accounts of cooperative hunting between the Sen, the Bushmen, and lions. It is such a great pity today that it is about the divide between man and animals. A practice driven by egos in the notion that we are greater. When in actuality we are just the human animal blundering our own way through the living world. Losing that basic connection to nature shows today. As we are deep in the middle of the sixth mass extinction, we have had five mass extinctions already in the world over the many millions of year with the dinosaurs being the last one. Climate change. And a countdown to our own extinction.